Maryland's next governor will be Democrat Wes Moore. And earlier today, the governor-elect met with the outgoing governor, Larry Hogan. It was their first time meeting since Moore was elected as the state's first black governor. And this morning, Scott Broom traveled to Anne Arundel County for that meeting. He is live in Annapolis outside the Maryland State House. Hey there, Scott. Hey, well, these are two leaders who are trying to set a national example, they said, for a transfer of power. And as you're about to hear, there's probably no better state house in the entire country to demonstrate the point these two leaders from complete opposite sides are trying to make today. Outgoing Maryland Republican Governor Larry Hogan meeting for the first time with newly elected incoming Democrat Wes Moore to talk transition. In this age of uh, divisiveness and dysfunction and so much anger back and forth and people challenging the peaceful transition of power. I mean, right down the hall here was the very first peaceful transition of power when George Washington resigned his command of the Continental Forces. And you no, know, I think this really is important. This is the way it always used to be, but it's not happening today. This matters. And this is what the people asked for. This is all the people want, right? I do think this is an important statement. So Hogan promised to hand over briefing books for each and every state agency and Moore promised to hit the ground running when inaugurated in January. All this while on Hogan's Facebook account today, eyebrows were raised by a photo posted of him at the podium with a presidential seal. He declined to say he's running, but shared these reactions to Tuesday's elections. Um, I don't think the Republican Party in Maryland has much of a future by doubling down on failure and by moving in a wacky direction. So I think they have some soul searching to do at the, as a, a state party, but also at the national party about what direction our party takes in the future uh, if we want to ever get back to winning elections again instead of losing elections. Back to this transition now, despite all the bipartisan kumbaya that was going on in here, uh, these are two leaders with some very different ideas about how to do things. Uh, for instance, transportation policy. Uh, Wes Moore says that he very much wants to renew a $3.9 billion uh, subway project in Baltimore that uh, Governor Hogan killed right out of the box in his first year in office. So there are changes coming. Reporting live in Annapolis, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. There are changes coming, but today was an important first step in modeling the kind of behavior we should see as Americans, right? A peaceful transition of you power, working together. All right, so a good first step there. All right, thanks, Scott.